Hi guys, welcome back to ImmortalBJJ.com. This is Professor Todd. Uh, today I had a request from one of my students uh, about a vlog topic, and I thought it was a very interesting one, so I thought I would speak on it. Nutrition in martial arts or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is very important, and without proper food, your training will eventually suffer and maybe even become non existent. You know, the old saying, you know, you are what you eat has a lot of uh, play in in our bodies and we have to look at some things that maybe we should avoid. You know, the two things that are very hard for us because we deal usually with a high cardio kind of output in BJJ, especially when we're in the gi, and that's sweat. You know, sweat is made up a lot of important minerals and salts called electrolytes. Uh, potassium, sodium, calcium, these are things that are really important for the human body, especially in you know, electrical conduction. That means your heart, your muscles, your brain. You know, when these particular systems fail or start having a hard time because they're lacking the proper electrolytes, you can run into a lot of trouble and unfortunately even death. You know, so making sure that you're always rehydrating, but sometimes water alone isn't enough. And I, I don't want to sound like a Gatorade commercial by no means, but you know, uh, just making sure you're having a lot of foods that are high in calcium, high in potassium, and even a little sodium. You know, back in the day when I was playing football, my coach, uh, basketball and football, they would end up giving us salt tablets. Just simply, you know, having a little cube of salt because it's such an important part of our of our electrolyte system. And but too much salt, you get too high, too dehydrated. You know, and that's another topic the way I talk about dehydration. You know, if you do sweat a lot and you have an imbalance of these electrolytes, you can have shortness of breath, you can have irregular heartbeats, you can become faint. Along with that and blood sugar, you know, these are things you got to be really careful of. Now, another topic that people talk about a lot is just the consumption of fats. You know, there's good fats and there's bad fats. You know, there's good cholesterol, there's, there's uh, bad cholesterol. So, in general, you know, you want to, you know, limit the amount of fat sugars, excess salt that you take in every day, and these can help you train better. Um, the one most important thing is I try and avoid all caffeine at all costs because caffeine is a stimulant. Of course, smoking cigarettes is the absolute worst thing you could put in your body. So many people have died from the uses of cigarettes. So avoiding cigarettes, limit the amount of sugar that you intake, no caffeine if you can help it, and try and limit the amount of fat. Now again, sodium, potassium, and, and calcium, these electrolytes that you need to have your body keep working properly, we always have to make sure that we're watching in moderation. But the one thing that I've learned the most, and that includes, you know, injuries, is listen to your body. You know, if you're, if you're craving salad really bad or you're really, really thirsty, then this is your body's way of telling you to get some, you know, food or water or some healthy food in you. So try and listen to what your body says, and it will do you justice. All right, guys, I hope that helped a little bit, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.